And um, just in time for your appearance today, there's a new Suffolk poll out uh, just now a few days before the big primary. And among those very likely to vote, you're up over Nikki Haley by close to a two to one margin, 63. Wow. If there are any Nikki Haley supporters watching this video, please look away. What you're about to witness is horrible to watch. It's cringeworthy. I'm the veteran biker. Facts over feelings. I don't care how you feel. I want you to know the truth. Sit down. This is where patriots watch YouTube. It's like watching Joe Biden fall down the stairs over and over and over again. What must be what? What must be what? What must be what? I thought Nikki Haley's campaign was over, but apparently it's still going on. Yet today, she refused to step aside and said this. Many of the same politicians who now publicly embrace Trump privately dread him. They know what a disaster he's been and will continue to be for our party. Some people used to say I was running because I really wanted to be vice president. I think I've pretty well settled that question. Has she settled that question? Well, I settled it about three months ago. When Trump drops the hammer, he drops the hammer. Well, I settled it about three months ago. Nikki Haley... I wish you the best of luck. Call the paramedics. Your campaign is on life support. And Trump just pulled the plug. And look, it's, uh, she's not working. She's here. She's down by 30, 35 points. And everybody knows her. You're not supposed to lose your home state. Shouldn't happen anyway. And she's losing it big. big. I mean, really... Uh, I said Big Lee and Big Lee. We love it. She loses it at Big Lee, but we're gonna we're gonna really do a job. I think that, uh, as you know, when we went to Iowa, we got the biggest margin in the history of the caucus. The biggest. That's a long time. Why do you think we, she's staying in the race? Um, I don't think she knows how to get out. Actually. Uh, I really don't. She did terribly in New Hampshire. She got mo the only vote she but got she has was from Democrats. a lot of Democrats. money behind her. What do they think they're Well, they're out? trying to hurt me because of the general election. So the Democrats are giving her money and she's playing into the game. And I think she just can't get she just can't get herself to get out. Uh, she's doing poorly in the polls. Look, if she was doing well, I'd understand it. But she's doing very poorly. She lost uh, in record numbers in Iowa, record numbers in New Hampshire, uh, Nevada. Uh, no name beat and uh, no name we had no name well in this clip with harris faulkner live on tv nikki ended everything she ended it all and i feel so sorry for her kind of i mean not really well no not at all she did cheat on her husband two different times while she she was the governor and while he was deployed and she has just been taking lots of money from Democrat donors and trying to get Democrats to vote for her and lying about President Trump. And she said the people coming through the southern border were not illegal aliens. But let's keep in mind, these people that are wanting to come here, they want to come for a better life, too. They have kids, too. They have a heart, too. They so. We don't need to be disrespectful. We don't need to talk about them as criminals. They're not. They're families that want a better life, and they're desperate to get here. So I really, come to think about it, I don't feel sorry for her at all. And I think she's getting everything she deserves. Check this out. This is disgusting. Get a vomit bag. This Saturday, the primary... How do you get there beyond the state when you haven't won a state yet? How do you win your first state? Simple question. How do you win your first state? Simple answer. Get more votes than the other person. No, no, no. Nikki, open mouth. I don't know what's been in there, but insert foot. And I don't know what else has been there. But Nikki, <laughs> oh, this is bad. I mean, it's amazing to say I haven't won a state yet. <clears throat> You've only had three states that have voted. 
Well, it's not amazing. We need South to go Carolina's ahead and let winner take things. all. I mean, it, it's it's yeah, but it's, we need to let he's going to pick up more delegates. South Carolinians have not voted yet. South Carolinians have not voted yet. Fair. Look, if if you and everybody else tells me to get out of this race, I'm not it telling would be you the anything. longest general election race in. It's all there, Nikki Haley. Just open mouth, insert foot. This is absolutely the reason Nikki Haley needs to stay out of politics. Go back to pandering for Lockheed Martin. Northrop Grumman, BlackRock, Boeing. Go back to pandering for them, begging for more war because you're on a board there. I mean, your husband's deployed, but I'm sure you want more war so you can keep him deployed because we know what you did while he's downrange. A little later on in the interview, I've got another clip of Nikki Haley trying to say Trump is a Putin puppet. And Harris Faulkner ruins Nikki Haley's shit. Gives her a fatality Mortal Kombat style. I'm talking ripping off the head, pulling out the spine, showing it to her. Check this out. Us at 9-11. Ambassador, Let's I, be I understand that you, that you take it that way and that that's what you heard. Um, and we'll have to see how all of this plays out. This president didn't have an invasion by Putin on his watch. The only one in recent presidents. So there is that to be said. about. Nikki Haley fails to mention anything about the current invasion with the current president because she's hoping to lure many of the current president's voters into voting for her in South Carolina. If you're a Nikki Haley supporter, Good luck. I wish you the best. She's lost three primaries. Oh, wait, there's only been three primaries. She got blown out of the water in Iowa, blown out of the water in New Hampshire, blown off the map in Nevada. Now she's back in her home state. Do any of you give her a chance in her home state? Do any of you think she has a shot? I really don't. And I think the Democrats are to blame for Nikki Haley's losses. The best campaign manager Trump has ever had has been Letitia James, Fannie Willis closely second place, and then Alvin Bragg. All of these Democrats that continue to pile on crap for Trump are only making him stronger. The last thing you need is someone like Nikki Haley going on live TV on Fox News and just ending her political campaign, ending it. She wants to drag this along to just get more funding from more donors. That's all it is. And Democrats are propping her up, which I think is amazing. I mean, good for you. There's multiple interviews all across the web where Democrats are saying they'll vote for her in the primary, but they'll still vote for Joe in the general election. So Hillary, sorry, I didn't mean to call her Hillary. Nikki, good luck. But she is a Hillary 2.0. Lots of people are called her Nikki Clinton. Nikki, go back to doing whatever you do best with whoever you do best with. This is the veteran biker. I'm going to get out of here. This is the end for Nikki Haley. Veteran Bikers out. See you on the road.